90. Once again, we're seeing the really good side of Stephen Lee's game. Another beautiful break on his part. There's been a few of them. One or two scrappy frames where he has missed balls throughout the match, though, but generally speaking, you'd have to say he's queuing exceptionally well. 97. Yes, Stephen Lee came into this championship with 112 competitive centuries. 102. He's now made three in this match as the Crucible Theatre audience applaud. Which takes him up to at least 115. Now, oh, this will be hit 100 mile an hour and try to either, will he double it or clip it in? Well, he's played the clip, but the black's not gone in, but another excellent contribution from Stephen Lee. The break of 108 just takes him one away from victory. He now leads by nine frames to five. Well played, Stephen Lee, and here he is, hoping to finish things off in frame 15. Oh, that's careless, Tony. That's a careless shot. The red, he, he played to get the red and leave it in Bork. <coughs> One. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly Tony played. He certainly didn't play the double on that uh, last red, but, well, it looks like he's wrapped up the match for Stephen Lee. Six. Yes, I think Stephen Lee Eight. has been the better of the two players in this match, uh, obviously certainly in the scoring department, but Drago, as he always does, has had chances and let half chances disappear as well. It could have been a lot Eleven. closer than this. And now looks all over again for the Maltese player for another year, but he'll be back. Fifteen. Yes, there's the equation, but this match is over. It's been a good display from Stephen Lee. Three century breaks along the way, so he's in prime form. 26, final match, Stephen Lee. A generous handshake as ever from the sportsman, Tony Drago, but it's Stephen Lee through to round two. Really. Peter Ebden, Stephen Lee the winner by ten frames to five.